Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. I'm Bishop Mark Bartosik, and it's a joy for me to celebrate with all the school children of the Archdiocese of Chicago to celebrate the Holy Eucharist today on the feast of St. Catherine of Siena, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. Let us call to mind as we begin the celebration of Mass our weakness, our sinfulness, and entrust it to the mercy of Christ our Savior. You came to heal the sick, Lord, have mercy. You came to forgive sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, from whence you shall come to judge the living and the dead, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your grandparents surely know a song by Led Zeppelin from the 70s called Stairway to Heaven. You might know of that song too. It's a great rock song from when I was your age. Certainly, St. Catherine had that idea in her head when she described Jesus as a bridge that leads us to God the Father. The idea is so old that it goes back to the time of Jacob. Hundreds and hundreds of years before Jesus, he had a dream where he saw a ladder starting on the earth and going up into heaven and angels coming up and down on the ladder. And then Jesus, too, in the Gospel, in the first chapter of the Gospel of John, tells Nathanael that he, if he believes, he will see the, the Son of Man ascending and descending. Um, the, and then St. Catherine in the 14th century, so about 700 years ago, living in Siena, in a town in Italy, writes her dialogues wherein she says that Jesus, the crucified Jesus, Jesus on the cross, is like a bridge leading to heaven. And we're all on that bridge. We start out maybe at the feet of Jesus. And St. Catherine would say that it's like we're there at Jesus' feet but we're still full of fear. So, for example, sheltering at home, doing e-learning. You're doing it, but perhaps you're doing it because you're afraid of getting sick or you're afraid of being punished if you don't do it. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad reason, but it's not the best reason to shelter at home and to participate in e-learning. As we go up the bridge which leads to the Father, we come to the wound, the open wound in the body of the crucified Jesus, and we can see right into his heart, Catherine would say. And there we see all the good things in the heart of Jesus. We see the wisdom. We see the uh, counsel. Uh, we see the power of the crucified Jesus, and we think, I would love to have those things for myself. And again, that's not a bad reason to get close to Jesus so that what belongs to him can be given to us. But it's not the best reason. When we finally get up to the top of the bridge which leads to heaven, we find the kiss of the lips of Jesus. And for Catherine, this is the reason 
to be on the bridge. Not out of fear of God, not because we want what God can give us, but simply because we love God. We know God and we love God. Now Catherine would tell us that this is not something that any of us has gotten right today. Not me, not Pope Francis, not your grandparents, not your parents, and not you. It's a lifelong journey to move away from fear, away from self-interest, to simply loving God because God is good and we love what is good without expecting anything back from God. Now, St. Catherine died when she was only 33 years old. And if she learned to read and write, it was way towards the end of her life that she learned to read and write. And yet she was a tremendously powerful and attractive figure. And it was all because of the gifts that God had given her that she wanted to give back to him in, in response for the goodness of that kiss that she believed was hers through Jesus, with Jesus, and in Jesus, the crucified Jesus, the bridge that leads to, to the Father, the stairway to heaven. Let us pray that through the intercession of this virgin and doctor of the church, who in some ways was very little, but whose littleness became hugely powerful through Jesus, with Jesus, and in Jesus. Let us pray that we too might give whatever gifts we have received from God, that we might give them back in anticipation of that loving kiss that the Lord wants to give to each of us. Now, let us put all of our needs into God's hands as we pray for ourselves and for the world. For Catholic missionaries, may God give them strength and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For judges and all who work in law enforcement, may God be the perfect judge. Bless them with the gifts of wisdom, justice, and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all who bear the burdens of loneliness, infirmity, poverty, or lack of basic necessities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For all the children of our Catholic schools, may the Holy Spirit help them grow in grace and knowledge of God's saving power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our teachers, that they might always feel refreshed and prepared as they strive to teach us everything that we need to know, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, particularly those from COVID-19, that the Good Shepherd will welcome them into the fullness of life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Father. Hear the prayers we offer you this morning. We offer them because we trust in your love. We offer them in the name of Jesus the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim, holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and my brother Blaise, our Bishop, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. If we walk in the light, as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his Son, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all sin. Alleluia. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world, it nourished the life of St. Catherine through Christ our Lord. As we uh, end our holy liturgy this morning, we have the great uh, treat of hearing music from the St. Alphonsus Liguri Virtual Choir. So thanks to the people at St. Alphonsus. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.
Hi choir, how are you? I hope you're all being safe and staying home. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm sending you this song. I'm gonna record it. Uh, Lord, I lift your name on high. And you're all gonna sing the song with the movements, record yourself and send it back to me. And we're gonna put it together and make it a virtual choir. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Don't forget, love you all and miss you so much.